November is here and the stars are saying time to get motivated. Gigi Sozowski joins us now. That was, I nearly didn't get it out, eh? <laughs> joins us now with her forecast. Gigi, where do we start? What overall, what has the month of November got for us? Well, it's all about maintaining our motivation. This is going to be a full on month when it comes to the astrological energies going on. Um, it's very important that we stay on track with our goals, S keep that vision of what we want to manifest uh, for our future. And again, you know, help and encourage ourselves to keep going despite the setbacks or the trials and tribulations. Uh, November is very strong when it comes to not only a solar eclipse going on, a lunar eclipse going on, but Mercury retrograde happening. Whoa. So it's a very important time for us to be aware of some of these energies. I mean, keeping motivated is sort of a, a difficult thing. You know, we think we magically will manifest motivation the minute we wake up in the morning, but it's really a habit that we have to cultivate. So being mindful of that this month, very important. So look, just, just for, for me, what do these solar and lunar eclipses actually do? Well, a solar or lunar eclipse, which we're having both in November, shakes things up. Right. It really sort of turbocharges the energy of a new moon or a full moon. And it really is a time of culmination as well as new beginnings. And that's really going to be part of the plan for this month. Um, example, from the 7th to the 27th of uh, November, that's Mercury retrograde. That is a very important time to be aware of when it comes comes to our communications, uh, readdress issues, rethink, reevaluate, and readdress some of the things that you're wanting to implement, but don't do them until the end of the month. Mercury retrograde is when things go backwards, when things fall apart, when there's delays. So it's not the best time to implement new things, but to plan to do that. And then on the 14th, that's when we have the new moon in Scorpio, and that's a solar eclipse. Get out your sunglasses, because that's going to be a beautiful uh, viewing area here in New Zealand uh, for that solar eclipse and that is a time of new beginnings fresh starts uh, and really a time where we can really uh, feel inspired feel motivated so that's going to be a big push for us this month and then finally the 29th which is your birthday <laughs> is going to be not only a full moon in Gemini but that lunar eclipse so we see a very strong shake-up time this month of November, but again, maintain your motivation. Keep on track. Keep your goals in sight. Keep your focus because that's going to be really a big highlight for this month. Is that for work and finance as well? For work, me? work and yes. And so, so I've got a plan this month. But don't do it until next month, yeah? Well, you know, plan and, and readdress and refocus and, and watch the details. And certainly when it comes to travel or connections or communications, Mercury retrograde times are a little bit of a flux state. So it's not a good time to really uh, do things until the end of the month. But no, when it comes to work and finance, it is a great time to keep that motivation in sight and keep really focused on the step-by-step -step things you need to implement for your future success and your happiness. So a very strong month for that. Okay, run us through the birthdays then. Ah, the birthdays for this month. Well, if you have a birthday on one of the following days in November, these are some of the energies you can look forward to for your year ahead. If you have a birthday on the 6th of November, that's all about moderation. That's your key word. And that is about finding the balance in your work, in your relationships, and again, keeping on track. If you have a birthday on the 14th of November, that's all about that solar eclipse and the new moon in Scorpio. Very intense time. New beginnings are going to be highlighted. And it's also a great time to uh, perhaps think about new ways of doing and new ways of being in your life for the year ahead. If you have a birthday on the 17th of November, that's going to be all about expression. That's going to be a wonderful year ahead when it comes to new learning, new communication, new thought, and connecting with others. If you have a birthday on the 21st of November, that's all about clarity. Gaining clarity this year is going to be important. Using your motivation and your imagination to move forward, but make sure, again, you are looking at the details and you're not too idealistic. If you have a birthday on the 25th to the 26th of November, that's all about exploration, a major year for moving ahead with new ideas, new endeavors, and new adventures. And finally, if you have a birthday on the 29th of November, Gemini, full moon, lunar eclipse, all about culmination, and it is going to be a very strong energy about breaking free, 
uh, letting go of things that are no longer supportive or encouraging or <laughs> yeah. worthwhile and moving into something new and dynamic. Wow. So that's going to be My a part of your Gemini future. as well. So what is, does that mean anything? The, Gemini full moon? The Gemini full moon is about communication, oh, expression, okay. thinking, thoughts, and connecting Prince, with others. Prince Charles is on the 14th, I believe. Well, that's um, so nice. you've already done that one, haven't you? What, yeah. does he have, what does he have to do when he's here? Well, the Scorpio New Moon in... in new, be new beginnings. It, yeah, it's new beginnings and a very intense time. Ooh. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at Richie McCaw. You decided to do him as our celebrity star yeah, chart Yeah, because today. motivation, oh my gosh, he yes. keeps it going, keeps it going, and he is really has an amazing chart. Um, yeah, Richie was born on New Year's Eve, 1980, and that makes him a Capricorn son. If you're a Capricorn son or if you know somebody who was born under the sign of Capricorn, you you know they're very hard working they have a wonderfully strong attitude lots of willpower determination ambition and it's also interesting because in his chart his beautiful sun in capricorn aligns with mercury jupiter and saturn so we know he's driven to reach his goals he's really sort of a, has a stiff upper lip when it comes to dealing with those challenges and certainly enormous endurance and discipline that's a real strong part of his chart his moon which is about emotions and feelings is in the sign of libra that has a lot to do with balance, precision, physical accuracy, and also team cooperation. Interesting that a lot of athletes have that. In fact, Valerie last month had the same kind of Libra energy. He's um, taking a break at the end of the season, though. Is that a good idea with the way Well, absolutely. Out? Looking ahead for him, we certainly see that his Pluto is going over his Sun and Mercury. That's a big time of transformation. He will be readdressing and refocusing a lot of the areas of his life, perhaps coming through with greater self-awareness, greater self-understanding, um, but also, again, letting go of some of the things that are no longer supportive so that he can really make a fresh start and move forward. Motivation. You are a motivational astrologer. Thank you very much, Thank Gigi. Thank you. Now, you can find Gigi's November forecast plus Richard McCall stars on our website. Jeanette.